Awe Kisi. Asante sana. Nashukuru. So we we've just come from our meeting. Um, I'm here with my county commissioner uh, and uh, county security team. But also we have been meeting with my sub-county security teams in uh, all the sub-counties of Kisi. And these are the the DCCs, the sub-county police commanders, the OCPDs uh, from across Kisi. Uh, at the county level, of course, is the county commissioner, the county police commander, the county uh, DCI uh, officer, and, and all the other agencies, security agencies, county level, sub-county level. I have also had an occasion also to meet with our our heads from the division, that is the assistant county commissioners. Um, it's a routine meeting, uh, just to look at the situation of uh, service delivery in this county. As you're aware, our space is uh, national security. We are tasked with the mandate of ensuring that our country is safe and secure and that the people of Kenya from every part of the country have a safe environment to carry out their daily activities, economic activities, political activities, social activities, in an environment where they are free from crime. So once in a while I visit my officers in the field and I thought that uh, I haven't been to Kisi for a while and I needed to touch base with my colleagues here because these are my greatest uh, assets as the minister because they are the people who help us to deliver um, uh, the objectives of government in terms of coordinating government functions at the county level but also in terms of uh, securing our country. So it's a routine meeting really and we've been able to look at uh, some of the issues uh, security issues uh, in Kisi, uh, which we want um, to address, uh, especially um, violent crimes, murders, homicides, femicides, as well as um, family-related violence. There is a bit of that here. Uh, we've had incidents, uh, and, and we thought we we put our heads together and come up with a, a, a strategy on how we confront uh, these uh, uh, criminal incidents so that we secure Kisi and make it a good place and make the people of Kisi go about their businesses without fearing criminals. Um, you know, we cannot talk of a, a, a secure Kenya if any part of the country is not secure. Uh, so we, we must make sure every county is safe, is secure, and therefore that's why we are here. We have also looked at um, the increasing incidence of um, violence uh, in political activities, uh, which is uh, unacceptable uh, because uh, politics is a healthy and democratic activity. It is allowed by the Constitution. Our Constitution in Article 4 provides that Kenya is a multi-party democratic state and therefore politics is, is a constitutional and legal activity. It is allowed. What is not allowed and what therefore is worrying us is people who want to hide behind politics to perpetuate crime. And of late we have seen a bit of uh, violent uh, behavior in political meetings. And uh, as the security <coughs> managers of the country, we want to make it clear that we will not permit any person to hide behind politics to break the law and to inflict violence on the people of Kenya. We are also clear that this administration, uh, as a policy, does not tolerate uh, or does not politicize security interventions. So we are saying that um, all political players in this county and indeed in other parts of the country are free to engage in their political activities 
even to compete and have different opinions and ideas, we have no problem if politicians do not agree on issues and, uh, and uh, policy matters, because that is what is expected of them. However, they need to know that clearly nobody is allowed to commit crime hiding under politics. And for us, we are not looking even at the political affiliation of the offending characters. We are going to go with them after them impartially. And they should not try to think that we will uh, consider anything else, except that they, they are organizing, financing, and inciting violence. Does it matter whether they are from what political shade? We will go after them and we'll arrest all of them. We don't even care how much influence a politician has. A lawbreaker is a lawbreaker, period. And please, they must, everybody must respect the law. Nobody is above the law. It doesn't matter whose friend you are, whose enemy you are. We are all bound by the law and by the constitution. You saw last year how we almost destroyed our country when we had many, some of our people uh, protesting or expressing their political opinions through violent protests. You saw we lost a bit of infrastructure. Uh, many people were inconvenienced, blocking of roads, stoning of cars and buildings. Uh, and, and at that time, uh, those who were organizing those violent riots were telling us they are exercising their right to demonstrate. The right to demonstrate does not include the right to destroy buildings, the infrastructure, and it does not include the right to hurt other Kenyans. So there must be uh, that understanding, otherwise we will work and support every leader. Uh, to realize their mandate, MCAs, MPs, governors, irrespective also of the party in which they are elected. It's our business to facilitate them, to secure their meetings, to make sure that their meetings are orderly, but it's also our business to punish them, to arrest them and prosecute them when they break the law. So, hiyo ndiyo tu kwa sasa, hatuna mambo mingi, ni mgutano wa kawaida, hakuna mambo mapia, Na mimi naomba kwa sababu ya, ya uh, maneno fulani ambayo ya nanitaji mahali. Sikuwa natarajia mtakuwa hapa. Ni vile ni meona siwezi kuwapita vile kusema hai. Naomba mlipatia ruhusa ni ruke. Kwa sababu ya masa. Siku hiyo ingine nitakuja mutaniuliza maswali. Asantani sana mungu wabariki. God bless you. This is divided into nine constituencies and it will be five words. Let me invite the DCCs. Focus for Commander. We have Joseph Wamboa, DCI. Uh, we have the subcommittee sub for this command, Mr. Mr. Mon Lavan. We have the DCIO in the Person Watch. We have the. We have the OTP, OTP Monover. Sir, my name is Jean Chabira Manene, Deputy Council Commissioner Masaba South. Uh, my security team, sub county security team. Our post PD is the Samuel Kital, this CIO is the Mwit. The opportunity to introduce my account security team members, starting with NIS, Mr. <laughs>